hello hello welcome to the channel perspectives by bella and i'm here with someone wonderful here you know I, I like to try different things i told you i promise you i'll be bringing you different things right today we are going on an adventure and i want you to get yourself ready get a cup of water whatever makes you comfortable and join us do this okay so on that note we're going to welcome jana to the channel jana, hello welcome Say thank hello to you everybody. hi everyone <laughs> all right welcome to the channel yes <laughs> if you've not subscribed yet subscribe this is the time to do it you know and if you're already a subscriber thank you for coming back i'm very grateful to you all right so let's get this done jana where do you live and <laughs> what what are you about because i see you wearing something white so tell us a bit about yourself so my name is jana mm -hmm. i'm from the beautiful island barbados Ooh. but um i've been living in canada for the past five years oh wow yes nice i am a pastry chef so that's why we're here today <laughs> we're making pastries oh wow yes okay today we're gonna make caramel ice box oh man caramel okay you got me at caramel <laughs> and then the ice box okay i'm looking forward to this and i hope you are too i love baking and some of you have seen me bake a few things on there mm -hmm. but now we are with a professional baker so of course oh i'm going to learn stuff and i hope you're ready to learn too <laughs> all right so um how long have you been baking like how long have you been so, a chef well i've been a chef for the past three years okay i've been baking from the time i was 13. Okay. yes for my friends in the neighborhood burnt cookies oh everything. nice you practice with them for sure <laughs> <laughs> um my previous profession was a veterinary technician and I used to bake on the side as a hobby. And based on getting the feedback from my friends and family, and I have a son, he's nine years old. Oh, nice. And he loves cake. So this is what pointed me in the path of making my own cakes because birthday cakes and all this stuff, you know, the kids. So I started to learn with a lady in my neighborhood close by called Hazel. Wow. And she taught me all the small fundamentals extra. And then I went from there making fondant cakes, perfect cakes. Then I got friends and family close by buying cakes. Hey, and they're yeah. like, no, Johnny, you need to you need to pursue this. So mm -hmm. then I pursued it. So this is eight years fully baking. Wow. But three years um finishing school. Cool. So you actually went to school for Yes. So I went to Centennial College. Oh, I'm in for a treat. <laughs> you guys, I'm excited. <laughs> Yeah, I can't I wait for baking. us to get our hands on something. I know. I did a baking and pastry arts management course. Oh, nice. Woo. <laughs> this, is, this is fun. Okay. So we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to get to know this lady some more before we go and get go on an adventure. We're going to try things out today, like actually make something. So, <laughs> you know, stay with us. We're just going to come back in a few minutes. Okay. Take it. Yeah. So what is this, Jana? So this have? is a cupcake bouquet that I made earlier. Okay. Um, so it has um some roses, some daisies. Ooh. Yeah. So it's perfect for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. It's perfect for female, of course. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's not not a big cake, but mm. it's about seven cupcakes. And there's okay. also one that I make with just three cupcakes. And I put it in a little gift bag. Ooh. It's just a nice, kind gesture for any female and that you want to appreciate the appreciation. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this is also trending. Cupcake bouquets. Yee! Yes, your cupcake bouquet of yellow and what? What's the other flower? Yellow and then and there's leaves. just some green leaves. Okay, perfect. So you can choose whichever color you want. Mm -hmm. I like the yellow. It's bringing in the summer. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you for showing us. This, no problem. Jana. So we are back with Jana. So Jana, we want to get to know you a bit. You're an Adronian. Um, you moved from Ontario, right? Yes. What's the difference? What has been the diff change for you since you moved? For me, the environment is more like a community back home in barbados Ooh. very close-knit um everybody's happy saying good morning you know it's a nice community not as hectic it is and i find like i got to a point in my life where i needed a little 
peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I needed like just quiet neighborhood to mm -hmm. think, relax, reflect on life, see where you're gonna go. Oh wow, and you're getting all that for sure, and more sunshine. <laughs> oh, yes, as we are talking there, it's, it's so nice and bright out there, yes. and it's what four or five, almost five o'clock. Yeah, and it's five o'clock. Bright, bright, bright. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. So, oh, I see. So yeah. you like this community, then? I, I guess. do. That's beautiful, and it's less rush, quieter. Yeah, a so, little laid back. A little laid back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've noticed too. For and, sure, and love it. Yeah, love it. Wow. So is, if you were given an opportunity to change anything in this community, what would it be? Home bake. Home bake? Home bake. A home bakery. Okay. Yeah. Home bakery. Talk more no, about that. No processed stuff, no preservatives. Mm. More like a home bake, like what we're used to back home. That I know. Fresh, fresh, fresh bread every day. No leftovers, that kind of stuff. Okay, so now that you brought that topic up, <laughs> this lady here can teach you how to bake, how to decorate, and oh, do yeah. all those home bake stuff. So talk to us about that business that you have. So recently, mm -hmm. I found, because before I used to bake birthday cakes, make cupcakes, and stuff to sell. Yeah. And I found, you know, I want to do something different. Mm -hmm. And with my current career, um, I do a lot of training. And I found that I enjoy teaching people. I enjoy seeing people going from zero to 100. Wow. Whereas they don't know anything at all. And then in the end, they can produce all these products. Ooh. So I started to do a workshop mm -hmm. where I um, go to people's houses and I do bake and sip. So if you have a girl's night, wow. you can bake with your girls, sip your wine. If, you have, if your kid have a birthday Ooh. party. We will decorate some cupcakes or whatever you want on the oh, spot okay. and entertain the kids. Wow. Yeah. Or I run a four-week course where you do once a week, two, and, two to two and a half hours. We bake from scratch. We decorate. We do a variation of things for people that don't have the experience. Are you hearing this? Yes. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> if you're like me and you love baking and cooking, these things are like, oh, that's music to my ears. For sure. So if you're out there and you're, you're because I know people who are very intimidated by baking, like, yeah. because baking is it's like a science, right? You have to measure, things have to be in. And so you have a lady right here who can help you, whether you live in Calgary or the neighborhood, you're close enough. There's a lady here that can help you learn how to bake. Yep. Do your own home baked stuff. For sure. I'm so proud of it. Of you know? course. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So what are your do you work with the people's schedules or like how do you yes so there's my schedule and their schedule mm -hmm. and we try to coordinate a time okay. so based on their schedule i will coordinate with them and we get something going off yep that's cool <laughs> it's flexible you <laughs> yes, know it is. this is good so is there a number that they can reach out if they do you want to yes for sure my number is 437-989-6484 Wonderful. Yes. And it will be posted in, if, if not on the screen, it will be in the description box. You can call uh, Jana and make your arrangements for yes. your baking. So, do you do um, specialty bake, baking? Like, you know, people are allergic to gluten and all that. Do you? Yes. Whatever it? they require, I can fix it. Really? Of course. <laughs> oh. So, see, you can still have baked goods even if you're allergic or intolerant to certain things. Yeah, there's there replacements. Ways. There's so many replacements these days for things. Cool. Yeah, people want eggless cake, yeah. no diary, all those things we can work around. So, there you have it. <laughs> now you can be your own chef, okay? Of course. <laughs> yeah, your own baker in the house. And the smell when you bake in the house, the smells that, you know. It enlights everywhere. <laughs> There's something about baking. It does. Oh, so what makes you love baking? Is there a secret? Like what made? Because you've been seeing, doing it for so long. For for me, it's the happy faces. Oh. Seeing kids so happy when they see these cakes. Seeing adults so happy and so excited after eating this thing. That's what brings the joy to my heart wow yes mm. and now you can do that to your <laughs> own right you can do that in your own home yeah i love it like you you see a butter flat there's nothing to it and then you put it in the oven bring it out and it's nice like yeah that's the magic 
And the thing, the thing is, of the recipes that I just saw and I wanted to try. Yeah. And I've never even tasted it. Never taste the batter. Never even taste the cake. I just give it away. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> I'm too curious. I would taste it. I know. <laughs> So my friends are always, you don't taste, you don't eat it. No, you just follow the recipe. Once you follow the recipe, you cannot go wrong. That's what they say. Baking is a science. <laughs> follow the recipe and you'll be fine. And you just know mm -hmm. from looking and seeing how it's coming along that it's good. It's, you're on the right path. Right. Oh my goodness. And yeah. in school, there's always something that we learn meals on class, which is everything in its place. So when you're going to bake, you set it yourself for success. You weigh all your ingredients so you know everything is there. So you can't go wrong. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can't wait for us to get in there and try ah, some, yes. try our hands on something. <laughs> so um, is there anything you want to say to someone out there who's intimidated by baking? Like they think, well, this is like for, for some people. It's for them, not me. Although they are very curious. <laughs> is there something? Baking is for everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, you have trial and error. You have to try and try until you succeed. Even for me, I've been baking for all these years and I still have errors. So you, nobody's perfect. Try and try until you succeed. Try and try until you succeed. For sure. <laughs> okay, so no more fears, okay? Go out there. Come call her. Come make that appointment. Learn how to bake. And, and one thing about cooking and baking you it's like an adventure right of course you learn one way and then you add a few things here and there to make to, it your own. to make it my own and to make it better for the next yeah time. Yeah. yeah oh cool so um right now can we take a break and then from there go to the adventurous place of course see? we can cool <laughs> so we're going to take a quick break and get yourself ready we're going to have fun okay yeah all right <laughs> bye bye we'll be we'll see you in a bit <laughs> So we are back with uh, Jana and we are in the kitchen as you can see. And now I just want to know, Jana, why do bakers use white? I mean, we're going to make a mess. We're going to cook and, you know, all the messes. Why do, why do they use white? So white signifies the cleanliness. Oh. You know? Okay. So when you show up for work every day, your clean. white clothes have to be clean. Mm. <laughs> yeah. If it's not clean, it will show. Yes. White will just reveal you. Yes. Okay. So it's like the chef's uniform white mm. signifies cleanliness but black yeah. is now becoming a popular color as well yeah i can yeah. see some wearing yes yeah. okay. but bakers for sure bakers wear white i've seen i've noticed yes that. bakers it's clean white. and it's beautiful Look yes at that. and you keep Lily it very white. clean it's nice and yes where are the things <laughs> she never gets things all right so we're here now and we, yes. what are we making again so we're making a lotus crunch oh. ice box oh. and we're using the biscoff Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're gonna use some caramel, some whipped cream, and some lady fingers. Yes, mm -hmm. it has to set overnight. Okay, or at least for four hours. Okay. But we're gonna start the process. We're gonna start the process, yeah. and then we'll put the um end result in too, so you'll see it. Okay, of course, you will not be able to taste it. Though, but I'm here. <laughs> That's why I'm here for you. Yeah, just contact me for samples. See, for now, I'll be eating it for you. Like, yes. So you know. Okay, so we're going to get started then? Yes. Okay, so we're, we're going to be right back. Okay, we're going to start doing this. So first, we're going to start with our lady fingers. Mm. For those of you who don't know, lady fingers are from Italy. Huh. And it's mainly used for turmeric soup. Oh, I see. Yeah, so we're going to lay our lady fingers first. Just want to lay them perfectly across our bottom of our dish. Are they frozen? No, they're just like almost oh, like a biscuit okay. until the whipped cream and stuff touches it. When ah. it gets soft after it sets in the fridge, okay. it becomes soft like cake. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow.
So there they are relaxing in the fish. This one so the same. Ooh. Quick topping. So this is something very easy. Mm. That if you have friends coming over, if you want something light and non-sweet, you can make icebox cake. Wow. Icebox cake. Yep. yep. And it requires no oven. No oven. No, no baking oven. here. <laughs> mm -mm. So this is our Biscoff. So if many of you know of the lotus cookies, it has the lotus flavor. Oh. Yeah. So it's almost like the butter. Huh. Lotus butter spread. So we're going to nice. add one scoop of our Lotus Biscoff cookies inside of our Cool Whip. Ooh -hoo. And then we're going to incorporate this inside. Let's see how... Fun. So it looks like... Yeah, so this is our Lotus Crunch. Wow. That's all mixed in now. Okay. Into our Cool Whip. So now yeah. we're going to spread this onto our lady fingers. Cool. So you could dump everything out. Mm -hmm. If it decides to come out. I know. <laughs> One thing with Cool Whip, yeah. it, you have to work quickly. Yeah. Because it tends to get soft. Oh, okay. Right? Mm. And you don't want it to, to be too soft. When no. You're, okay. Oh, it looks like Jana. You got yeah. all the biscoff yep. on there. The yep. mixture. Our cool wet biscoff is all smoothed out. Now yeah. we're gonna add some caramel syrup. Nice. Ooh. If you have a sweet tooth, <laughs> this is your jam. But for me, this won't be too sweet. It won't. Oh, even with the caramel and everything. Oh, yeah. look how pretty. Look if you want to Yep. So now we're going to lay more lady fingers on top. Oh. I'm going to lay it this way. So one pack of lady fingers has in at least 40 to 44 okay. biscuits, okay. right? Just to have an idea. Mm, you I could see. also use the lotus um, cookies. Okay. Yeah, you could also use the lotus cookies. Okay, that's good. There's an alternative. If you want that crunch, crunch, if you want it a bit crunchier, yeah. you could use the lotus um, biscuit cookies. Yeah. But um, if you want it nice and soft, you can use the lady fingers. Okay. There you go. That should be enough. And now Sweet. we're going to add more Cool Whip. But this time we're going to add plain, plain Cool Whip. Oh. Because you don't want the Biscoff to be too overpowering. You don't want the, strong, the, scent, the taste to be too, too strong. Okay. So we're not going to add Biscoff in this Cool Whip. Okay. We're going to keep it plain. Alrighty. You could always bring out your cool whip at room temperature mm -hmm. so it's not too tight. Yeah. But for me, when you start to work these type of ingredients, they start to get soft. Yeah. So I always use them a little firmer so that by the time we already get it on, that is nice and soft and playable. Okay. Because sometimes, depending on the temperature of your kitchen, if it's too hot, mm. it can melt. Then you have to lay do a lot back and forth running to the, the fridge. fridge. Yeah. Huh. Okay. I just work with it a little tight. So mm. by the time I then break it up and get it on there, it's fine. Okay. Our yeah. final A layer finalier. of Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Oh, you're going. Oh, run on us. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now we're going to spread this. Okay, so now see how nice it's spreading. <laughs> okay. It now wants to cooperate. Mm -hmm. Now it wants to. Well done. So you see now it's more pliable. Yes. It's soft. 
but it's not too soft. It's still easy it to work with. Yeah. It, yeah. So we're gonna spread it all over the lady fingers, mm. just getting all those crevices. Yeah. And for me, I have to get all those gaps. Yes, as she <laughs> said, she said bake her. Yes. Be perfect. And you have to spread all the ingredients down. You don't want to waste. Okay. <laughs> And it makes sense. You want every bite to have the flavor. Correct. <laughs> so this layer, we didn't add any Biscoff. No. Because you don't want the flavor to be too overpowering. Only if you want. It looks great to me. Pretty. We got it all nice over there. So now our final caramel is going to go on top. Woohoo! Wow. Okay. Perfect. Get this away. Yeah, one thing about baking, the way you're done, the dishes. Yay! The dishes, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we will. We'll, then we're we'll just back. gonna clean up the top. So now we're gonna add the caramel. Mm. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So you see, you really don't need to add the biscoff in there. Because mm. we're adding the caramel on top, right? Mm. No. So now we're gonna use a toothpick. Oh. Okay. Just make it look nice. That's, and what, fancy. that's what they do to get that. Okay. Yes. And you go to your coffee shop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now you learn a trick. I've learned a, a trick. Oh, a baker's yeah. trip. Sometimes That's if good. you don't want it too messy, you can clean okay. the top of your toothpick. Okay. Look at this brie. It's beautiful. Yeah. That is it. And that's it. That's it. Wow. Ta -da. <laughs> now we're going to cover this mm -hmm. with some plastic wrap. Okay. And then we're going to put it to set in the fridge for about four hours. Okay. All right. And we'll be back to slice it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So this is ready to go in the fridge. All right. Perfect. So it's ready to go in the fridge. Mm -hmm. We're going to leave it in there for about four hours. And then it's ready to serve. Perfect. Yes, yeah, so this can be made with any flavor, not only yes. caramel. You can use strawberry, chocolate, and you can put your finish as cocoa powder on top, mm. strawberry syrup, any flavor. Cool. Yep. Mm. All right. Well, thank you so much for teaching us. No problem. We're just going to now wait, and then we'll see the final product. For sure. When it's ready. Thank you Good. so much, Anna. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.